Howdy folks, I've got another product for you today, it's a book, it's about German tanks from World War I, um, these boxed square tanks on the front cover is their version, <clears throat> it's more of a troop carrier than I would say a tank, because it houses like up to like 20 odd people or something or something like that, um, there are some Mark 1s and Mark 5s and stuff tanks, which are the British ones, in German camouflage, they were captured versions and repainted to use against us. So they weren't built by the Germans, they were just captured and fixed up and reused. Um, it's published by Ab Tylong 502. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's, it's German. I totally butchered that, I believe. I'm sorry if I did. Um, I believe it stands for department. I could be totally wrong. Um, let's take a look. It's the book's based on, as I say, German tanks from World War One, nineteen seventeen to to, to um, nineteen eighteen. It's a nice box art. I say it is the German box tank, British tank by Germans captured. That's the German version. That's British but captured, and that's German. It's a hardback book. Your index of all your sections <clears throat> that you wish to look for. There's a lot of black and white photographs in this. There's um, a British Mark tank, probably a Mark V, captured and then used by used by the Germans. The tanks in German military. <clears throat> all your history about the tanks. Uh, general of World War One. Try to do this. What's the glare on the book uh, for World War One? There's a uh, a wooden prototype version of the uh, tank. Talking about some of the weapons, anti-tank uh, rifles, MG08, uh, some crew members, uh, machine gun, German infantry, probably uh, anti-tank team. Um, some more pictures. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. There's a picture of one of the German box tanks, I'll call them. I'm not quite sure what the name is for, for the actual vehicle. <clears throat> Same again, they were being transported by train, just as how we done it, to the front line. Because they weren't very good, same as our tanks, they weren't very good neither. Um, according to this, around 8,000 of these were built. Um... Um, tanks by the British, um, French, and German army. Another uh, picture of the tank on the on the back of a train car. <clears throat> More pictures. A little bit of history. There's another one being transported. There's another one. There's a different type of vehicle here by the Germans. Probably transports cargo and ammunition and everything else to the front lines. 
is another tank which is a bit similar to a British um, uh, whip it, it's a bit similar to a whip it. The uh, British tanks and production line. And now it's talking about the captured version, captured ones. In March 1918, when the Germans being officer, something or other, uh, captured vehicles. Mark IV, I'm not sure what that is in German, German Roman numerals, IV. Uh, they captured the tanks and by the British and then they re repaint them. If you uh, wish to read it, just pause the video. There's the uh, British tank but in German paint camouflage, paint scheme. Same again, British tanks but in, camp, in, in German camouflage, captured ones, so this is all the captured versions now of British tanks, there's the history on it, there's another one, captured version, these are the British tanks destroyed and what the Germans do is take these, fix them up and then re, and reuse them against us. There's one that we obviously destroyed. Some more pictures. There's a uh, Whippet the Germans captured and repainted. There's another Mark IV. Roman numerals IV six is that six? No, it wouldn't be six, would it? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Another captured German one. Ah, uh, captured British tank against the Germans. There's another one. These all seem to be Mark IV. That's a male version. There's the name of the tank, the box one I'll call it, the A7V tank, not sure how you pronounce that. Some kind of transport vehicle. Actually that, that could be the running gear for the uh, box tank I'll call it, that could be uh, without its uh, armour cover looks a bit more spacious and more more well designed than the British one but obviously it couldn't go across trenches like the British one another picture and then information on the class, model Production, ammunition or armaments, the name of, of the uh, vehicles, notes, and out of service. Some more documents on the vehicles. One of the uh, German tanks been tipped on its side. There's another German tank. Pretty good pictures. Obviously, they've been re, re uh, vamped and enhanced and high definitioned up and whatever. 
um, paint schemes now on rear vehicles. This is another reason why I bought this book because I've got World War Two vehicles to do and I'm having a hard time working out the, the uh, reference for the uh, Germans. I'll yet to find one of these models. I've got the British versions. Um, there's one of those transport ones, I'll call them. And there's a camouflage for the uh, box tank or A7V. <clears throat> it looks very similar camouflage to what they used in World War One. Ah, oh, sorry, World War Two. Which is the Dunkel Brown, uh, brown, uh, the the red, the reddish brown and green. It looks kind of similar to that. It all would have been hand painted, so the paint schemes would have been really rough. Um, this one's got four different colours on it. This one's got four different colours on it, same as this one. This one's based in France. October 7th, 1918. There's this one, based in France. April 1918. Belgium. May 1918. Belgium, April 1918 Germany, January 1919 France, May 1918 France, April 8th 1918 France, June 1st, 1918. France, August 31st, 1918. It's all the history at the bottom of, of those vehicles. May 1918. France, February 1918. That's just all dark greenish colour. Doesn't actually say what colours they are though. Belgium, April 1918, it's a dark green one, another camouflage one, you see the paint with the brush just slapped it all over, I didn't really care, um, seems like they started off fairly okay with the pattern and got here and just, just got, lazy, got lazy, that's it, job done, get it on the front line, uh, France, April 1918, Belgium, April 1918, it's all green, a bit more uh, neat and tidy this one, it's a bit similar to what they do on the aircraft, Belgium, May 1918, France, April 1918, another green one, another camouflage one, north of France, October 1918 North of France June July 1918 Green one Belgium May 1918 Now it goes on to the British cap captured versions This is what I need camouflages for um, France March 1918 
Belgium the summer 1918 France June 1918 France October 1918 and it goes back to those box tanks I call them France April 1918, France, April 19. And it's got pictures of the top of the tank as well and full markings for aircraft so they don't shoot them. Another captured British one, France, September 1918. And then it's the blueprints of the vehicles, so basically drawings, very nice. These are 135 scale <coughs> vehicles to do with models. Um, I suppose you could take this and photocopy it because it would probably be the same same scale probably, hopefully. And you can practice painting or drawing on it, doing it your camouflage before committing to your real vehicle. Um, these A7V German tanks, if anyone knows of who, who produces them, um, please let, let me down, net down in the comments because I am looking for one as a kit. I'm um, having a hard time trying to find one. I find the British tanks no problem, but the German ones very hard and very difficult to find. Interior skin. It's a weird looking tank, it's in there. Now it goes on to a Whippet version, similar to a Whippet. And it goes on to uh, different variants of tanks and their lengths and how heavy they are and what stuff. So the A7V was uh, main weapon is one times fifty seven millimeter main gun. Axial weapons, I'm not sure what that means. <coughs> I think that mean I think that's machine guns. There's six seven point two nine mil millimeter guns. Armament is between thirty point 10 millimeters so it's super thin probably stop um machine gun fire but anything else it just blast straight through it weight is 30 tons length is seven 731.5 centimeters um width is 300 oh these are, could be 307.5 centimeters height 333 centimeters <clears throat> engine two times 100 cvs maximum speed 15 15 14 sorry 14 kilometers an hour crew members 21 members 21 men for the german box tank i call it, it says it houses 21 the seven a seven vu as Main main weapons is two fifty seven millimeters. Actual weapons is four seven seven point nine mils. The armament goes a little bit thinner at twenty point fourteen. The weight goes a little bit heavier. It's obviously because of the guns probably and more shells. It's uh, thirty nine point eight tons. Overall length is. Um, 
850 centimeters, width 465 centimeters, height 314 centimeters. Same two engines, two 100 C C Vs. A uh, little bit faster now. Can't see how, how that's possible. But 16 kilometers an hour now. Only seven crew members. Uh, an LK1 main armament, one times 7.92 mil gun. Axial weapons, none. Armament, 14.8 mils. So still rather rather thin all the way through. Seems to be rather thin all the way through. I'm not going to read all of this. You can pause the video and take a look at yourself. There's another picture of a uh, German tank. But a British captured one. Um, and then notes. And that's pretty much it. But guys, of the book. There's a nice picture on the back. So there's a new book. Just been released by... I can't... I don't really pronounce that. Ab Abstein 502 I totally butchered that I do apologise I do recommend this book if you like your armoured vehicles or your history and stuff like that um, what did I pay for this? I paid I paid £23 for this. Um, which will be... Twenty six point eleven euros. So there you go guys, it was a nice book. Haters, like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.